Mayano, 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 M A O N O is how you spell it. Not sure how you pronounce it. All right, so you clicked on this video because you're looking for a budget mic. Well, I got one for you. The Mayano PD 200 X series. That's what this is. And it's a budget mic for under $100. And yes, it comes in under $100. And it comes with a boom arm. It's $89 is what you can get it for. It's on sale right now. Boom arm and a mic for under $100. I mean, you wanted a budget mic. Here it is. I'm going to show you what it sounds like. Actually, you're listening to it now, so you know, kind of got an idea. But is this XLR or is this... USB-C that you're listening to. We're going to see in a second the difference between the two. Now, this is not going to be a long a long video. It doesn't need to be. It's about a budget mic that comes in around 89 bucks, under 100, okay? And it comes with a boom arm, comes with the clamp, comes with a your your cable, USB-C. It comes with this microphone that is XLR, obviously USB-C, comes with a cord has little lights right here. If that's something that you like, you can do this. What do you think about that? You can change it to whatever light you want. doesn't matter. What are you feeling that day? Whatever you feel like, that color can match your feelings. I think I am going to leave it right there. Anyway, so you have that. You also have a mute button and then you have a volume button that you can use you can see right there um, none of this works without USB-C so if you hook that up you run it to your computer you run it to some software there's free software you can use you can use like GarageBand that's all you got you don't have to spend any extra money to record your voice which is why you want the microphone now if you either have the budget or if you have a Rodecaster Pro or something, anything that you can run an XLR cable into, obviously that may be something you want to do other than you in USB. Now, USB-C is fine. You can do whatever you want to do with the USB-C and you can do it in post, fix it up, make it sound however you want to. Now, if you have something good for the XLR to run into, obviously you can do the tweaking that you need to with that. So with that being said, Let's go into the boom arm. Now, I am not a big fan of this boom arm, but it's not to say that you won't be. Um, it doesn't have a lot of... Obviously, this moves up and down wherever you want it. You can bend this down right here all the way down if you want to. I prefer not to right now, so... It's um, it's a boom arm. There's not much to it. There's not much. It's aluminum. It feels pretty good. It feels sturdy. It's tight. It's not going to move. You can actually put a, a pretty hefty mic on here if you wanted to, and I feel comfortable that it would stay in place, which is good. Um, this is not a heavy mic at all. Um, we'll get to that in a second. The clamp that this boom arm goes into not a big fan of either it's metal it's good that's a good thing um, it does have a rubber piece that clamps down onto the top of the desk which is it's good um, that's a good thought the bottom part does not have a rubber piece which I don't like I know it clamps to the bottom of the desk but that's still it's just me I just, what I, I'd rather have something like that now it clamps pretty tight um, it's just small rather a little beefier clamp on there so and it has a knob that tightens at whenever you slide the boom arm down into the hole you tighten that up and uh, make sure that you tighten it really well or this boom arm will slip out so other than that that's the boom arm there's not a lot to talk about. i do not want to spend a lot of time on that um, it comes in the package so that's good now if you're starting out and that's all you have the money for that's what that's your budget then you have a boom arm ready to rock and roll and it'll work just fine. You're going to want to upgrade the boom arm for sure. Um, now, let's get to the mic. 
only thing is, is you need to know how it sounds, right? And right now you can hear, this is XLR that we're running into that you're hearing right this second. It actually sounds pretty good. It's straight out the box. I have it running into a Rodecaster Pro, no adjustments. You can just hear that it. this right here can do, I mean, whatever you want. It's a good mic. There's nothing wrong with it. You don't have to spend $400 on a mic in order to get good sound. You may want to get another screen. This screen isn't bad. It isn't terrible. It's very sturdy. This is, the capsule is is made of aluminum. You can see the light here, obviously. Um, it does, it. this works for what you need, for sure. Um, is it going to stop the plosives altogether? No. Running it into a machine to where you can dial it in a little bit tighter, then you'll be able to. Um, you'll be able to take care of the plosives and things like that if you're worried about it. But they're not terrible, okay? It's not awful. The people will pick this thing apart. There's a lot of peas for you. You can make your decision on whether or not it's too bad or not. Um, as you can see, like I said earlier, there is a knob for volume. Um, and then you have a mute button right here that you just tap, and it's... Muted, obviously. I know I talked earlier about the lights, but you can put these lights to however you want to do it. And if you're into that type of thing, that's a good little addition. But again, this, none of the controls work without the USB-C plugged in to a computer. You have to have it plugged in in order to have power. XLR does not run power to the mic like that. So... This is aluminum. It's made of aluminum, the, uh, the outside of the mic. It is light. It is not very heavy at all. It's very lightweight. The shock mount is plastic. Um, not a deal breaker, whatever. Uh, but, you know, it'll do what it's supposed to do, I guess. You don't want to touch it a whole lot because it will cause, you will hear noises. A lot of mics will do that anyway, but... You can see that as I'm talking, you you know, if I'm moving around, you can tell kind of how it is. Um, you can pick it up when you're right in front of it. You pick it up when you're a little bit of ways away from it, but as you move to the side and away, you can hear kind of how, how that mic works. So um, now, again, this is XLR sound. You can hear it actually sounds pretty good. It's not bad. Looking at the big picture, again, this is budget-friendly mic, right? And for for the cost of this microphone, you're getting a pretty solid microphone. Um, let's switch to the USB-C so you can hear the difference between the XLR and the USB-C. Now we are listening to USB-C. You can hear the difference. You make the call. Um, my opinion is that if I was on a budget and I found this mic, no hesitation, I would buy this mic. I have no problem with it. It, ha it has a good sound to it. It'll work for what you want. You can still make minor adjustments wherever you need to make it to make it, to dial it in to however you want it to sound. And there's so many things out there now. There's, there's programs right now that you can use that you can take this microphone, record what I'm recording right now, go stick it into you know, a program and it'll, it'll do everything for you to tighten it up. So to be honest with you, if you're starting out, why would you want to spend all that money on all the processing stuff when you don't have to? Now that's AI. You can go whatever AI you want to, that works with audio and, and do that. You can take your recording, stick it into a program, let it spit it out and you'll have good sounding product. All right, so that's it. That is the Mayano PD200 X series. Again, it's not an in-depth video. I just wanted to give you an idea of what it sounds like. It sounds it sounds good. I would buy this microphone. Um, I'll probably continue to use this microphone at some point for certain things. For one, it's already hooked up, but... It also has a decent sound. And I'm going to dial it in just to see how good I can get it sounding. And maybe I'll do a video of this dialed in 
and compare it to uh, a Shure SM7B, which is a more expensive mic, obviously, and you can see the difference between the two. You know, drop a comment below. If you'd like to see a video like that where I compare it to a more expensive mic, then let me know. I'll do it, and uh, we'll kind of see what the differences are. So anyway, with that being said, you get an idea what this budget mic is like. Uh, hope you got something out of this video. If you did, please hit like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.